Greetings everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital and to Tumble, where, well, uh, at the moment we seem to have a bit of a lack of nurses. Also, a slight problem with heat. Well, we can easily fix that one, can't we? Uh, I've got a, uh, a notification there we're probably going to need to deal with in a moment. Uh, let's just pop this there. Womp. There we go. We may have too many janitors. Poppycock, says I. Pan's lab required, though. Uh, it's going to take us 20 grand to get that set up. Um, okay, get patient to wait a moment, and we'll go and deal with that straight away. Right, so a pan's lab. We are going to need the pan's lab, which is a 4x4. Four four. It's a bit of a bit of a gigantic one, this, but uh, the 4... Uh, see, the problem there is it's going to take up so much extra room. Uh, it's not ideal. That leaves a lot of wasted this space. Is Nigel um, let's see On if we can't point radio. move this around. Welcome, a little bit. my friends, my chums, to Two Point Radio's haven of well, culture. Or maybe what we could do is we could have a bit landscape. of. Uh, a waiting host, area there. Sir Nigel ah, Bickleworth, be here bad. to amuse and delight you. Uh, let's shift this down a little bit. No. Unfortunately, the pants up is just a, a horrible, horrible shaped room, really. There's not much we can do about it. Oh well. Let's turn that off so it's a little bit easier for us to see. And since it's gonna be such a gigantic room... Oh uh, well, no, no. I think uh, having that as a, as a waiting area isn't a bad idea. Let's pop a door there, some windows around, and let's get the extractor pan in place. Now, the extractor pan is going to require that the patient stand on this side, so for once, I'm going to pop this down so it's a little bit more, uh, more efficient in terms of speed for our patients to actually get to where they need to be. I don't usually care for that. I'll be honest, uh, a lot of people put a lot of stock in putting the machines in the places where um, so that the, the patient has the, the least amount of time to walk to where they need to be. Ah, I don't particularly care. Uh, I, I prefer the room to look nice over that level of functionality, but I you know, I do appreciate that for some people this is a, this is a big thing. And it's also kind of like solving a, a puzzle in a way when you think about it. And I'm, I'm totally on board with people using this as a as a, a bit of a puzzle that they can solve and find the most efficient way to get through. It's just not the way I tend to play the game. I tend to prefer to just uh, poke around and, and build things as I can here and there. And you know me. Wax a little bit poetic now and then. Uh, there we are. We'll also have a gold star certificate right... Well, I would love, love it to be above the... Uh, the fire extinguisher. We'll put it there. This is the, this is a gold star fire extinguisher. It has passed all of its safety checks. It's marvelous. In fact, we'll get some certificates here and there. Hither and yon. Ooh, that does not work there. Apparently, can we perhaps get it down here instead? Then maybe. There we go. That'll do. Um, is there perhaps anything else I'd like to place? You know what I'd like? I would like a cactus right about there. How about that right there? Oh, that's lovely. There we go. Let's have a quick look at this room then. How does this one look? It's warm enough and it's reasonably pretty too, though perhaps we could get a little um, picture or a poster perhaps. Um, sure, let's go for chest infection. Right about there. There we go. That is wonderful. We're up to 67%. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Now, got this bloody huge corridor where we're going to want to pop Security some things. Alert. Please be alert. Uh, sort these out. Uh-oh. Uh, quite a few of our staff have free training slots. Well, I will get to them, I promise. It'll just take a little bit of time, that's all. We'll have a yucca in between. Oh, that looks quite nice. Quite charming, in fact. We'll have a radiator right there. Let's uh, check on how comfortable this area is. Quite comfortable, I would say. I suppose it's that time now of year then, when Crockle Bay is inundated two, with hormonally charged vandals, okay. known to the world as students. Oh no! Excuse me while I take a bottle of sherry and retreat to my bomb shelter. I mean, <laughs> you just let them all know you've got sherry there. I don't think you understand how students work. Uh, right, let's get some entertainment over here for my patients, and also. Let's get... Yeah, sure, we'll pop out a little. Ooh. You are correctly 
seated and pop. Oh, perfect. That is marvelous. All right, let's get some artwork maybe. And sure, let's get go for some briny brittle right there next to a bin. And perhaps somewhere over here, we could have some bird. I really do hope that we can get to the point where we've got um, something like uh, uh, moose juice soon. I'm a little bit concerned with the lack of moose juice so far. I uh, want maybe, yeah, let's go for a bookcase. Just a little bit of something to keep our waiting guest entertained. In Please fact, you know what? Like let's move this around. Equipment. That can be over on this side. We'll have a second one down here because I feel that you shouldn't Pharmacy. have um, bookcases on their own, really. I, I just prefer them to be together like that. We'll also go for a food pyramid right next to the burp machine because I think that makes sense. Uh, look, it's okay if we've given them all the information to make a healthy choice and they've still chosen not to. Not my fault. That's this. They take responsibility for the choice at that point. Um, sure, we'll have a games machine there as well. Now, we only need a tiny little bit more attractiveness. Let's pop down maybe some posters along these walls. Uh, let's go for a doggo. Uh, well, actually, no. Doggos need to be in rooms, I think rather than out in corridors. Uh, we'll have an anatomy poster there. There we go! Perfect. Warning! Seismic activity has been detected in the area. This could damage our machine. Oh, no. Um, Teresa Infinity, junior nurse. Well done. Successfully completed the request. Uh, they have gained 25% happiness, and we have gained 10 kudosh. Marvellous. Wonderful. In fact, I'm going to have a yucker over here, I think. There we are. That looks like quite pretty. Quite pretty indeed. Okay, so our pan's lab is uh, getting on with it, hopefully. Uh, let's just make sure it's reasonably warm. Yes, it is. Okay, not too bad. All right, let's have a look at our Episode. general patients. What kind of... Oh, dear. What kind of illnesses have we got? Oh, oh, dear. Ah, uh, uh, everyone, flee. Great that isn't your medication. No. <laughs> wow. That's... It's thankful, I suppose. Oh, oh dear. Can that fall on people? Oh, what a trooper in the middle of an earthquake going out and uh, clearing up the mess. Well done, you. We can upgrade our drug mixer. It is true. Uh, that's quite the shame, though. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and I'm thinking we might want a, another ward. We've got enough people. Oh, uh, we do. As they stand. Uh, new illness discovered. Party mouth. Okay, head off to the pharmacy. I think I would like to get a new ward though, because we've got a tiny ward over there. Uh, the only other thing that might be useful is currently we've got cardiology. We could get general diagnosis. Now that's only a, a, a three by three room, but we just have so little space to play with over here. So if we had a three by three, we'd only have a two there, which we can do nothing with. The only alternative is one, two, three down there. Oh. Wait a second, that might work. That could, in fact, work. Hmm. Well, you see, since we've got a little waiting area there, instead of having a, a general diagnosis, we're going to stop editing the, this room, yes. Instead, we're going to build a ward. I'm going to try and squeeze this in about here. It's going to be a tiny ward, mind you. Can I even get anyone in there? Mm. No, I'm not sure that's going to work. Unless we just squeeze that across there. That might work. Can we get a door in there now? Sort of. Yes. Yes, we can. It's going to be another tiny ward, but uh, it's not necessarily the worst thing. We have a nurse there. We will have a changing room right there. And then just a couple of beds. Now, and again, tiny, tiny ward. Three beds, maybe, if I can squeeze in a third. Staff are reminded no. to get back to work. Okay, or well maybe we could always have something. No, we can't have that one there. Is there any way that we could make this work? Well, actually, I guess we could do this. This is... <laughs> A very cramped ward. 
I'm, g I'm not gonna lie. This is a really, really, really cramped ward. Can't even put a wall monitor anyway. Uh, should I really do this? I am concerned. Um, Doctor required in GP's office. Well, we could have this at least down there. We need a radiator in here. Could we squeeze this in anywhere? No, we, we really are going to struggle with this one. I guess I could have the radiator right there. We just need to have a two, okay. We're going to need a, a plant. We're not going to be able to make this room pretty any other way, I think. So it's going to be a rose. I'll bring her up to prestige level two straight off. Uh, we're not going to have any coffee maker in here, though. Ooh, this, is, this is a tricky one, trying to squeeze this into su such a tight space. But we can have some paintings, I suppose. Oh, well, given that, maybe we don't want to uh, go for the rose. Well, no, I, I would like the, the rose. We'll have a gold star and a certificate there. We've already gone up to prestige of the rose. Wow. And how about above this one? Since you can't have paintings right next to you, can have a, you can have a dog over right there. I think that looks lovely. And an actor poster as well. There we are. In fact, at this point, we might not even need the, uh, the rose. We could probably get by. With, you know what, we'll have a, a regular plant in here, shall we? Just like that. There we go. And let's see how that works. We've received some reports right. of an earthquake which Quite has nice. caused particular damage and to one of the warm. county's hospitals. Marvelous. Okay. This Oof. is why one must never be without insurance. Indeed. And I heartily recommend Swindle's insurance. I do not. Who in no way paid me to endorse them. I don't believe you for a moment, Sir Nigel. I think you, sir, are telling me lies. Big ones, big porky pie lies. Uh, who would have ever thought that, that Sir Nigel would sell out to swindles of all people? My goodness. Uh, let's get a notice board along here as well. There we are. Hello. Alright, so we've got a, a wee ward. Let's go ahead and pop a wee nurse in there. It doesn't have to be a wee nurse specifically, but motivated. Nice, so a little bit faster. Diagnosis, treatment, and pharmacy. Nice. Has potential motivated green fingers. A bad whistler. I can forgive such shortcomings. That's fine. Um, actually, we're gonna we're gonna hire you, sure. And I'm thinking we might actually hire Claire du uh, Duvet. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit of cash there, but all right. Let's go and uh, set you guys up. Now then, how do I want you? Uh, working. I'm gonna say the not there. I would rather you not work in the wards because we're having a bit of trouble with those. You may though. Assistant required in reception. Yeah, that, that'll do. We've got three people who can work in wards, three people who can work in pharmacy, and quite a lot of people who can work in, in other things. Generally, we've got three people who can work in any particular thing. And then, um, in terms of general diag and cardiology, we've got four nurses who can work there. That seems fine to me. Is that training required? Not now. Uh, well, as it happens, that's why I went ahead and built a second ward, is because we are getting quite a lot of ward-related emergencies. So that's not too bad. I do feel that we need another doctor, though. Uh, charming. Avant-garde. Uh, okay. Uh, Nausea-inducing green fingers. Uh, no. Uh, ties easily. Cries at sitcoms. Jeff Asher. Ooh, what do you, then? There you go. Enjoy. Now, what I would like over here... If we can get this up and running now, either research... No, it can't be research. We don't have anyone who can do that. So I think it's going to be training. We've got a lot of staff who want training, so this will help. All right, then. Let's get you all set up. Now, we're going to go for a nice big old room with so many encyclopedic bookcases. Oh, my lord. In fact, we're going to have the, the rear of this room dominated by encyclopedia bookcases. And I, oh my goodness, I can. Ah, uh, they're like the windmills in, in um, Rimworld. Many of you will be acquainted oh, with the Crockenbush Bookshop uh, turn up the right. volumes. But as it has recently come under new See, management, how many people I decided to peruse their current selection. Let's have a look. Far too many modern scribblers for my liking, but their section on pointillist poetry is still there we second go. That's to actually none. not too bad. It's just level four training room. That's really quite good. Let's pop down a radiator as well. 
Have we got anything we can unlock in here? We can't, unfortunately. We lack the kudosh to unlock any of the truly amazing things, and it makes me quite sad. We will, however, have a notice board there. Have a clock above the radiator. This is a fairly good place to squeeze in the clock. We'll have a few certificates on the walls. There we are. Both gold and silver star. We won first and second place. It was kind of a bit of a dodgy contest, really. We may have paid someone. Uh, we will have... Can we squeeze this in? I think we can. Yes, we can. And sure. For the especially uh, good students, you can have some sweets as well. There we are. Right, finally. Can we f uh, squeeze more of these in? Can oh my lord. Yes. Our training speed is going to be ridiculous. That's, that's, that's like a, a proper library of bookcases. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, let's pop down a post or two. Oh, I can't. Well, that does kind of rain on my parade a little bit, but I'll accept it. Uh, we will have the anatomy poster because that does, in fact, help a little bit with... Can you squeeze that in? Oh, you can. That does, in fact... Oh, wow. Prestige level five training move. Is there a prestige level six? I don't think there is. I think five is actually as high as it goes. We've got uh, the the premium training room here. Womp. Look at that. Marvelous. I can only assume with that many bookcases. Well, first and foremost, the room is worth 58 grand. Oh, right. Um, how? We're 62% on the diagonal. I'm afraid we're going to have to get you to go home. Uh, Deluxe clinic required. We can't do that right now, send patient home. Much sorry. Much sorry. But, I mean, I spent all my money on a bloody training room. Uh, typical Avac. No pillaging, please. Yes, please don't pillage. Uh, I'm in debt. Um, that's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate, actually. Let's uh, go back up to normal speed. Hopefully, with uh, the people who are about to be cured from the emergency, we'll get enough cash that we can sort things out. Please go and get them into their beds. Thank you. There we are. Come on, Porter said. I need, I need money. Avak needs to be able to build more rooms. My lord. That's right. You go and let them out. How about down here? How's everyone doing? Is everyone okay? I like the shades. That is particularly, particularly awesome. But once they are all sorted, we'll actually look into getting some... Uh, well done. Ooh, that'll bring us in a bit of cash right there. Yep, there we go. And pop. Eight grand. Ah. You're listening thank to goodness. Getting the clinics up and running is very important because they bring in a lot of money. Right, there we go. We've, uh, we just need to cure a bunch of people now to get up to the first star. Wonky Another ankle syndrome. Wonderful. The procedure involves uh, okay. transplanting yes, the foot of an athlete to, to the patient. Goodness knows what their treatment for athlete's foot might be. I don't want to know, Sir Nigel. Thank you. But we're going to just see if we can get uh, a number of these uh, of the emergency cases sorted. One of them right there. Successfully treated. Oh, oh, who died? Oh, no, one of them has died. Another one of them succeeded, though. Oh, that is a bit, of a, a bit of a shame. Much sad. Oh, dear. I think that's our pharmacist legging it to the loose, trying to hold it in. Literally, with their hands. That is, that is quite possibly the most disgusting mental image I've ever endured. My goodness. Ah, right. Um, I'm not... It looks like the treatment failed, but you didn't die. So, I, you know, I guess that's okay. <laughs> it's not really, but... All right, let's have a quick look at our cues then. Uh, head over to Overview. Back up to 23. Okay, that's not so bad. We're bringing in a decent amount, I think. So, patients. Um, long queue warnings. Zero rooms. Nice. Generally, it shows the percentage change from the value three months ago to the current value. So, we've, we've increased health by 3% and happiness by 1%. Considering how happy they were already, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that myself. Pay satisfaction could be improved a lot. I'm actually going to drop the amount of time that my staff are allowed in the staff room on break to 15 days hopefully we can keep things moving forward then okay we can upgrade our drug mixer that would be good uh oh oh we've got a ghost right i need a janitor 
with ghost catching abilities. Uh, there we are. You're off to capture a ghost. Well done, you. All right, let's see. How did we do? We've got two more patients who are still... Um, we're still waiting on finding out whether their treatment is successful. Uh, because the nurses wandered off. Not exactly the best. Okay, really when you think about it. Right, I think... How about, whilst we're waiting to find out how the... Uh, failed two, Q3 so far. In progress, only one. Let's find someone to train, shall we? I think that's going to be a, a good move. We could get Claire set up. Um, in terms of jobs, I really would rather you not be in the GP's office right now, but... We killed four out of six, so we got 10,000, 10 rep, and 10 kudosh. Not too bad, all things considered. But uh, I'm thinking that we're going to want to start working on our staff. So, with that in mind, should I get Boris Lentils trained up? Maybe I should even hire a new doctor. Uh, I've got a couple. Girl Next Door comes with Kung Fu Grip. Mm, class clown, unmotivated. Not particularly interested there. Um, you're... Uh, you're good at psychiatry and research, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, we'll work for peanuts isn't holding their breath. Emotional intelligence, you know, you've got increased happiness, but that isn't something I'm looking for right now, I'll be honest with you. And same there, so no. Okay, so we're not going to be training a doctor then. That's going to take a little bit too much time, but what we could go is for Jill Bergerac. Okay, Jill, let's get you trained in ghost capture. And for this, we're going to bring Claire over here. Now, hopefully, Claire's going to be able to train them up super, super fast. In fact, should we go for getting lots of people able to deal with ghosts? Or just two? Um, I like how fast you are at upgrading machines. So I think I'm going to leave that available. So yeah, we'll just see how, how quickly we can get Jill Bergerac trained up for ghost capture, shall we? Shouldn't be too bad, but I think that's where we're going to be leaving the hospital for today. We've expanded out. We've got a, a well, we've fleshed out this side of the hospital, this wing. In the next episode, we are almost certainly going to be moving into this parking space over here and hopefully getting a deluxe clinic, if nothing else, along with cardiology. Uh, sorry, um, with um, general diagnosis so that we can have a better chance of diagnosing a few more of these illnesses. But that's going to be it from me. We've got a health minister visiting. It's going to be Tarquin. Wonderful. He'll be here for the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.